one of my previous tank modeling tutorials, I promised you guys that I would show you how I made some of these grid covers for the exhaust systems on my tank. Now I figured I'd make a separate video about this just to make it a little bit more clear and concise, and so I can also show you some other ways you can apply this technique. So for the purpose of this video, I decided to model a catwalk style staircase, and I'm going to show you how I made these grids inside the steps here. So the first thing we're going to do is add in a plane which we're going to stretch out so it's very long and very thin. And I'm going to stretch it out to about 10 times on the x-axis and about uh, 0 0.2 uh, on the y-axis. And then I'm just going to zoom in and add some thickness to this new little plane. And I'm also going to add some bevels. Now you can play around with this and shape it in whatever way you like. I'm just going to narrow up the top a little bit before I add my bevels because I think this shape is going to look a little bit nicer in the end. And then you can just take this new shape that you created and rotate it. Uh, I'm going to rotate mine by about uh, 20 degrees on the z-axis. Then I'm going to duplicate it and then I'm going to rotate it by 20 degrees on the other side. And now once I do that I can go ahead and add in my array modifier. Uh, and when I add my array modifier I'm going to make sure that uh, the two objects are pretty close to each other. And you can choose for yourself how close you want them to be. The closer they are, the smaller the gaps between the bars are going to be. And the thicker the bars are also going to look. Uh, and also the farther away they are, the bigger the holes are going to be and the thinner the bars are going to look. And then just duplicate it as many times as you like. Now after we apply this modifier, we can just add some smooth shading and maybe an edge split modifier as well. And now we have the basic shape of our grid here. And the next step is basically to bring our frame over and we're going to use that frame to cut out a part of the grid so that it fits perfectly into the frame. And I'm going to take one of these steps in my staircase here and I'm going to separate it to a new object and I'm going to bring it over to my grid. Let's turn on a matte cap just so we can see what's going on a little bit better. And I'm also going to scale my grid down just so the bars are a little bit smaller and it's a bit more detailed. Now I'm going to move my bars up into the frame just so they fit into place. And I'm also going to rename both objects so I can recognize them when I use my boolean modifier. Now I'm going to use the boolean modifier to trim this grid so that it fits into the frame. And I'm going to use the shape of the frame to cut out a part of the grid. And I want to trim all the outside so there's nothing sticking out. So basically I'm going to place my 3D cursor in the middle of the frame and I'm going to take the outer edges and I'm going to scale those up to exactly 5 times. And this way they're going to cover uh, all the remaining parts of the grid. And now when we turn on the boolean modifier, uh, it's going to cut off all the outside parts uh, on the grid and they're going to fit perfectly into the frame. And once we apply it, we can just scale the frame back down uh, to 0 0.2 times the size. We have to make sure that our 3D cursor is, is in the same place so that it scales back to its original shape. And now you can see the grid fits perfectly into the frame. Now you have to make sure you clean up any messy vertices if there's any. Uh, and then you can just parent the two objects and bring them back to the staircase here. I'm going to use an array modifier just so I can arrange the steps uh, as I want them. And now we have a pretty nice, a very detailed staircase with a grid in inside the stairs. If you're interested in learning how to make very high detailed models in Blender, then go ahead and check out some of my other tank modeling tutorials. And I hope to see you guys around.